Hello and welcome to the broadcast. It is Wednesday, March 18th, and the entire world is on fire, but I'm here. I'm here for uh, for some, some Ocarina of Time. Heard a little bit of Link's Awakening there? Yeah, so that song, the music I've been playing for intro music for this is the uh, Ocarina of Time Hyrule Symphony album, um, which is a whole set of fully orchestrated versions of music from Ocarina of Time. It's one of my favorite albums. Um, but the uh, the specific song that we were listening to just now was the uh, Legend of Zelda medley, which takes themes from uh, the whole series leading up to Ocarina of Time. So, yeah. <laughs> it's Wednesday and the entire world is on fire. Get him and spoken literally any week in 2020. Yeah. I I remember, I think we all remember a time uh, in, in December of 2019 where we were like, you know what? 2019 was kind of a bitch, but 2020, this is the year, right? We're going to turn shit around. And <laughs> the world was like, fucking bet. <laughs> Oh no, oh, those halcyon days, yeah, what a weird time to be alive, but I think in this time of weirdness and anxiety, um, there, there really is no better time to go back and look at the things that matter to us and remind ourselves that there is, there is good in the world and there are things that, uh, that we value, so... That's those innocent days of three and a half months ago. Yeah. So that's what that's what we're going to do today. We're going to hop back into Ocarina of Time, which, as a reminder, is my favorite game and also the first game I ever played. It it says something about the game, I think, that it has remained my favorite game, despite playing many other games in the, in the meantime. Um, there's good in this world, Mr. Frodo. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get choked up. I've seen that quote running around Twitter and and who oh boy, who oh boy, um, but yeah, like Ocarina of Time is just such a good game on so many levels, uh, both for its time and as we're seeing, like in enduring ways. There are a lot of really good design and and narrative decisions in the game that really stand up. Um, I think. Uh, it's, it's not one of the games that I think people bring up a lot when they talk about video games being art. Uh, I think the, the first game that a lot of people go to is, um, Shadow of the Colossus, which is entirely fair. That game is amazing. Um, but I, I do think Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, um, really, really solidly fit the bill for video games as art. Uh, and Majora's Master, a spot in your top 10? Yeah. Yep. 20 plus years since you played them for the first time? A hey, same. High five. Um, so yeah. Um, what did I want to say? I wanted to say a thing. Uh, oh, that Ocarina of Time is my favorite game, but I think on a technical level, like on a, if we, if we look at its construction, um, both in terms of uh, narrative and technology, uh, I think Majora's Mask is technically the better game, um, but Ocarina of Time is definitely my favorite. And I think part of why they don't get brought up as much as games as art is, one, there's a lot of nostalgia value wrapped up in them, right? Like, And, and people are averse to talk about nostalgic experiences as quality media um i think people sort of people downplay the value of nostalgia um and treat it as like a crutch uh but like something something can't be nostalgic if it doesn't have an impact in the first place right um but also i think because um they're kids games uh shadow of the colossus is not a kids game uh sure you can play it as a kid and that's that's fine um but it's that's not the target audience um and i think people shy away 
from calling youth media um like quality art um <laughs> god damn it super coon um yeah so so that's that's my thought Th those are my feelings there uh but enough about that let's hop into the game which uh is real real easy to do um oh where is my where's my game huh okay so hold on <laughs> it looks like obs is not recognizing mm. the driver or my computer isn't recognizing the driver great this is a thing that i should have tested before we went live i also just updated obs which doesn't help um so yeah bear with me while i oh boy find the fucking drivers for this thing um oh, i think i actually still have it on my computer in the downloads folder gv usb2 yep if you ever feel like um streaming an n64 uh yeah just overwrite all these streaming an n64 or playstation title any early console that uses a composite or um the other one uh i i highly recommend the gb usb2 it's a little usb device it's like 15 bucks or something and it works really well it's kind of a pain in the ass to set up but All right. Uh, dismissing media aimed at younger audiences being lesser of lesser worth is an unfortunate tendency across several mediums. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Not found. Well, this is odd. See, because, oh, <laughs> it's not my computer. I'm just an idiot. Um, so I have a limited number of USB ports on my computer, and I have run out of them. Uh, and I completely forgot that I was trading off the capture card slot for my PlayStation controller for the Life is Strange streams. ba da ba ba Now if we go here, and then we go here, hey! That's what I'm talking about. Alrighty, where's my controller? Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Is everything plugged in, Dylan? That's us. We've got one stone and one heart piece, or, or one heart container. So a fun thing about this game is that uh, you will recall that we left Kokiri Forest uh, and then saved. Yeah, this game doesn't save your location, um, although it might save if you're in a dungeon, I don't remember. Uh, it can save your state and like uh, flags for story checkpoints and that sort of stuff, but in in child link you always end up back in your house when you load up the game which is a nice workaround for having such a big game and so many things to do in it um that need to be flagged uh in a time when you had to fit everything on the little cartridge device so let's see if we can get to uh it will castle before nightfall. It would be a little easier if I back walked, but I'm not gonna do that. Maybe if we just roll. I think rolling's technically faster. 
This used to be when I played the game. This used to be how I played the entire game. It's just hat, 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 hat. Hey! Oh god, I love this. I'm sure this is annoying to somebody who has not played a million hours of this game, but to me these sounds are just pure joy. <laughs> One learns to turn out the yeah, yes. It's true. To the castle, where we have to go talk to Kibora Gabora, the funky bird. Everyone's favorite owl. And by everyone, I mean mine. Hey, Anarsis, this way. Oh, remember what I was talking about last time? Uh, the princess is inside the castle just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. Ho, 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 hoot. Uh, about how when his head is upside down, the little spots on his, like, chin area look like eyes. Which actually, hold on. Hold the phone. I'm gonna go look up a thing. No. There's a bird that I'm thinking of. His beak reminds me of some kind of bird. Um, where, cause like when his head is upside down, it turns up instead of turning, like hooking down. Um, there's, there is definitely a Zelda bird that that's making me think of, but whatever. On this ground, time flows normally. But time stands still while you are in Lon Lon Ranch or in a town. Upside down Kipura Gabora looks a lot less stern than right side up Kipura Gabora. Yeah. I like that. I love I love that um, dichotomy there. If you want time to pass normally, you'll need to leave town. Well, well. Which way are you going to go now? Hoo hoo hoot. Do you want to hear what I said again? Yes. <laughs> it does the exact same thing where it um, defaults us to the hear it over again. Whereas previously, <laughs> God, I fucking love this. All the dialogues before our first interaction with Kibora Gabora, it defaults us to yes. And yes means I'm good to keep going. Then we meet Kibora Gabora for the first time and it defaults us to no. And we have to go down to yes in order to not hear it again. This time, it defaults us to yes, but yes means hear it again. <laughs> God, <laughs> so good. Whoo, you're a smart kid. Good luck then. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> ah, Trixie developers. Hey, Malin, how's it going? Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do, Teehee. Oh yeah, if you'll look for him, I'll give you the I'll give this to you. I've been incubating this egg very carefully. Teehee. Incubating is a weird word. Ba -da -ba -da. You got a weird egg. Feels like there's something moving inside. Set it to see and see what happens. Yes, I, I remember how to set things to C. Thank you. Let's set it to right C. And climb this wall. What? What? There we go, okay. <laughs> that was a little weird. Okay, and there are a bunch of guards here, and if the guards see us, we get kicked out. We gotta take a very specific path that I still remember somehow. Once we get into the dungeons, I'm gonna get super lost, but this part, which I did 50 billion times, 
This part I will remember forever. Correctly, I would want to jump in the water normally and collect rupees, but I'm full up on rupees, so that seems like a waste right now. Oh, what? They see me there? Okay, well, that's fine. We need to pass some time anyway. Hey! That's a very pretty song, Malin. That is really troublesome for an adult, isn't he? God, so many are. Wild how they get to, or they they manage to get um, these middies to sound um, so convincing. Really good stylization. And then when you hear that stuff in like the orchestrated versions, it's just ah, uh, you're like this is exactly what it sounded like to me playing the kid and. Like in 1998 or whatever. Into the water we go. It's a wasted rupee, but that's fine. Look, a chicken hatched from the egg you were incubating. It's the miracle of life. <laughs> What's this? <gasps> Mumble, mumble. Welcome. Our ranch is so fun. Come on and look around. Wake up! What in tarnation? <laughs> Can't a person get a little shut eye around here? Uh, orchestrated music makes you feel the way really good graphical updates to old games do. They look the way old games felt when I was younger. Yeah, absolutely. That's. I mean, some of my favorite music of all time, um, probably my, my all-time favorite song uh, at the moment is the Oath to Order um, arrangement done by Theophany on um, Time's End 2. So fucking good. The, both of the Time's End albums are such beautiful adaptations of the Majora's Mask music, the, the score, and also um, the, the story. There's a lot of storytelling worked into those songs. Very well done. Um, and I absolutely will be bringing them up as our starting soon music when we get to Majora's Mask. Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest, and I guess I fell asleep for an entire day. What? Malin was looking for me. I'm gonna catch it from her now. I messed up bad leaving Malin behind to wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. <laughs> oh, this game. Yeah, Navi? I wonder where we'll find the princess in this big old castle. I wonder. Uh, this part, when I played it the first time, had me very confused for a while. Because I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, but, you know, eventually, a game gives you only a few things to interact with, and you gotta interact with them. And we've already seen this puzzle layout, the inset floor with the boxes we can move. Um, we already saw that in the Great Deku Tree, where it was obvious what we had to do. So, again, game is introducing early puzzles um, with very, very tight constraints to make it so that we can recognize the same kinds of puzzles later. Um, which, in a sense, is actually an advantage of older games um, because uh, one, they were dealing with new gamers, so a lot of modern games um, 
have a problem where they rely on existing gamer knowledge. Like, we all know what a block puzzle looks like at this point. Um, but if you're new to gaming, then you don't. Um, and so you might have trouble recognizing a puzzle that uh, someone who's played a lot of video games wouldn't. Uh, but also because the systems that the games were made on themselves were so restrictive or so limited in their resources, um, it meant that you needed to make simpler puzzles in the first place. Like you had tighter constraints and and fewer options um, for uh, control schemes and that sort of stuff. Oh god, we get to childhood Dylan's least favorite part of the game. Um, but because so many games are open world now and like, full if you can do anything that you want, that breadth of possibility can actually become a hindrance um, in puzzle games. So I think I failed on this at least 15 times the first time I played this game. Let's see if I can get through without a single failure. And then, of course, I was tempted to get those rupees, but this time we're full up on rupees, so there's no reason to. Oh god, but this angle is... Ooh. Yes! Okay, there's a guard here. Move, 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 move. Keep going, keep going. I think the game is buggy, you don't see the guards' view cones. Actually, if you come in at night, you do see their view cones, if I remember correctly. And I think we can just run this one. <laughs> Hell yeah! First try, baby! <laughs> hot, hot! <sighs> One of Dylan's favorite songs right here. Um, just realizing the N64 Smokey Control Stick might be the reason why you get so nervous every time you have to balance on the ledges in games. Yeah, this this stick, this control stick, is a little limited. Uh, if you've never used an N64 controller, it's been a long time. Let me hold on, put this in a little bit of shadow. Can I can I put it in shadow? Yeah. So if you see, there are like these these tight angles around the stick. Those are actually basically all of the directions that the stick can register movement in. Whereas, um, like newer control sticks like DualShocks can do a full 360. This is actually just eight directions, really. So that uh, really doesn't help. Um, but yeah. <gasps> Who? Who are you? Look at those highlighter eyebrows. How did you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Is that... I love how this game plays with the speed at which it uh, displays text, too. To communicate tone. A fairy? Ooh! Ooh, that lensing effect! I wonder how they did that in Engine. Um, I wonder if they actually had control over... Um, that technique is called a dolly zoom. In real life, it's achieved, uh, achieved by uh, adjusting the focal length of a lens um, as you move the camera toward your subject. So your subject stays the same size in space, um, but the, uh, the space around them compresses or expands. Um, I wonder if they actually had control over the depth of the N64 camera, or if they had to do some shenanigans with the the environment. Huh. Then are you... are you from the forest? 
th then, then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual s stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Do you have it? No! Well, that's odd. I thought you might be the one for my dream. You really don't have it? Tell me the truth. <laughs> Guessing shenanigans with the environment. That's my my guess too, but like getting it to look that good um, would be would be a challenge for sure. I honestly, having seen this game so many times, it's the first time I noticed that dolly zoom there. Um, and this conversation in particular is full of but thou musts, so. Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. I will say one thing, like, the but thou must decisions in this are a little... Eh, but also, like, would choice actually make it interesting? I don't think so. Uh... I think it might be nice if we just had, like, a yes button <laughs> instead of a yes no uh, here, but I think most people at the time are going to be. Um, developers would find a way no matter how bizarre. Yeah. Uh, I think at the time that this came out, most people would be agreeable enough to be like, yes, I do have the stone. Um, because they've been told to go talk to this princess, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but, yeah. Interesting question for someone who knows emulators and can check the code. Yeah, that, that is a thing. People have people have pretty much fully broken this game. Um, they do find new glitches every once in a while, but you can absolutely, um, with, with emulators and ROM hacks and stuff, you can... Um, like teleport yourself to cutscene areas and do all sorts of stuff. I, I would be very interested to see if someone has taken a, you know, a, another angle of this cutscene to, to show what's happening there. Gives the illusion of characterization without having to actually write branches of dialogue. Exactly. Um, and, and I think by and large, most people are just gonna be like, yes, nowadays I think Again, people are spoiled for choice, and so you're going to get a lot more people being like, No! Because it's funny to, to not tell the truth. Um, but suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and I didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? It's a Narcissus. A Narcissus? Strange. It sounds somehow familiar. Yeah, you should uh, you should go to twitch.tv slash says Princess Zelda and hit that follow button. <laughs> okay then, Anarasus. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please, keep this a secret from everyone. No! <laughs> okay. The legend goes like this. Such startlingly good camera work for such an old game. The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hand. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. 
So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from the Evil Ones. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the Sacred Realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time that you can actually just walk right through if you hit it at the right angle. Um, it's, it's one of the simpler glitches in the game, um, and it took them like 15 years to discover it. <laughs> uh, I think actually it was discovered in like the last two to three years if I remember correctly. And, in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Oh, it's the title of the game! <laughs> Did you understand well the story I just told you? Yeah, yeah, we got it. That's great! Uh, ooh, this is, this is some good camera, more good camera work being done right here. They're showing us our conversation through the window that she's standing in front of, which is about to become relevant. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Oh, I think I actually know that song, Soon Raccoon. Is that... Oh, fuck. What's the name of the artist? Because, I mean, I'm sure there's more than one, like, comedy song titled title of the song, but there's a specific one that I'm thinking of, and I can't remember the name of the artist. I feel like it starts with a V or an R. It's driving me crazy. Okay. Yes, I will look through the window at him. More Dolly Zoom. Da Vinci's Notebook! Yes! I knew there was a V in there. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? I mean, I see a man who's literally green, which, like, he should probably see a doctor about that. Um, but also, yeah, his entire character design is incredibly pointy. Only one man has eyes. Yeah, that's a good point. That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. Oh god. Got fucking sleeps in my eyes. I'm I'm gonna be real with y'all, I slept in until like 1 p.m. today. <laughs> However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Which, important note, tells us that Hyrule is not the entire world. There are other parts of the world outside of Hyrule. I think that's a thing that a lot of people mess up uh, or, or misunderstand about the world building in Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask. Anarasis, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. I don't believe you. Um, you know what? I'm just going to pick it so we can see it. Please believe me. My prophecies have never been wrong. 
please. Okay. Thank you. I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him! One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. You received Zelda's letter! Wow! This letter has Princess Zelda's autograph! Set it to C and show it with C. The best laid plans of actual babies. Yeah, um... I mean, it's the thing, right? It's these these are just two kids trying their very best. Ganondorf the Gargamel of Gandalf. <laughs> Oof. My attention will guide or attendant will guide you out of the castle. Don't be afraid to talk to her. You're a who? You're what? Oh hi. Are you ready for the sexiest woman in all of Zelda? I mean, the entire franchise. I am Impa of the Sheikahs. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exact is it blah. everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You're heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby, and Dylan, when he has children, absolutely plans to play it for them, because he is that kind of nerd. Oh my god, Anna. <laughs> there is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. She straight up just whistles it. Stare at that ocarina. What? <laughs> like, fuck, I never even took a music class. You've learned Zelda's lullaby. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. Hell yeah, Impa. Badass ninja. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. All right, we're counting on you. And, Chwapa, she's gone. All right, let's go. <laughs> I think we got another Kibora Gabora here. Yeah. Oh, no, we don't. Nice. <sighs> This song, 
So the, the Hyrule Symphony version of this song is my go-to I need to relax song. It's just so good. Ding dong, ding dong. I'm a clock soldier of Kakariko. The current time is 1448. That would be 248. Nope. Hello there, son. Zelda's attendant, the great Impa, opened this village to the common people. We have only a small population now, but someday this place will be as lively as Hyrule Castle Town. Oh yes, it will. Climb up the stairs to the north end of the village to find the trail that leads up to Death Mountain. But you need the king's permission to actually go up the mountain. We're gonna go around and do some stuff in the village um, before we go up the mountain. First, we're gonna grab this chicken. Yeah. Sorry, this cuckoo. Cuckoo? Okay. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it, but. And we're just gonna throw it in this pen. My cuckoos have run away. Please catch six more. Can do, will do. Do I remember the optimal order to do these in? No. So I'm just gonna not worry about that. Um, there's one up there. We have five remaining. There's one over here. There's two over there. Hello. Oh, get back here. Stupid bird. Is there one up here? I feel like there is. Yeah, okay. Four more. This makes it three more, and then I know where the rest are. Okay. Woo! Because helping people is important, chat. If you're not helping people, what are you doing? Alright, come here, buddy. We're gonna do some shenanigans. If I can grab you. Oh my god! There we go. Shenanigans time. Need to get a really good jump. Oh, come on. Hmm. Need to throw the cuckoo halfway? Really? Oh, you're right. Dang. Thanks, Anna. And then we need to grab you. Throw you over. I'm not going to drop down that pole because I don't remember if that resets all the cuckoos or not. There we go. 
<laughs> so long, yeah. Did I get it in? No. No, stop talking to her. This one in, and then... That should be it? Hey there, buddy! Da -da -da -da. Thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. For helping me, I will give this to you. It's fine glass and should be useful. Please take good care of it. Fuck yeah, we got our first bottle. We got an empty bottle. After you put something in this bottle, set it to see when you want to use the item inside. Yeah. We're the best. All right, I'm gonna go talk to this dude. The most precious item in all Zelda games, yep. I actually, um, I once ran a D&D 5e, uh, Zelda game, and, uh, I had to write up a bunch of items for it, and bottles were one of them. It was, it was interesting trying to convert that stuff to D&D, um, and it worked surprisingly well. I am the boss of the comp carpenters that Impa hired to improve this village and make it into a true city. But young men these days don't have any ambition. You know what I mean, kid? My workers are just running aimlessly around the village, and they're not making any progress at all. Even my own son doesn't have a job, and he just wanders around all day. They're all worthless, I tell you. Okay, Boomer. All day long, we are working on many construction projects in the village. It's going to take a while before everything is done. Our boss works us very hard. I think there's a golden skull toll up here somewhere? Or is that only at night? That might only be at night. There was a reason to try and climb up here, though. Ah, shit. Well, if there is, we're not gonna find out what it is. Let's go into some houses. Ooh. House of Skulltola. Ah! We all look like this because of the spider's curse. If every spider of the curse in the entire world were destroyed, the curse would be broken. When you destroy a spider of the curse, a token will appear, collected as proof of your achievement. The number next to this icon on the quest status subscreen indicates how many spiders yada yada yada. Look for them not only out in the open, but also inside the dungeons. Of course, this is just our dream. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. If you break the curse on my family, you'll make you very rich. All right, yeah. Sounds good to me. I don't think we're gonna get all the golden skull toys, though. I just don't have that kind of patience. This used to be the great Impa's house, but she doesn't live here any longer. It is now open to all villagers. You are free to go on in. This village used to be a Sheikah village. There are so many typos in this text. Um, but the great Impa opened it to everyone. 
There was an Impa without an H. There was a Sheikah with the E and the I re reversed. Hey kid, do you always enter other people's houses without permission? Didn't your parents teach you any manners? Oh well. Did you see a lady behind this house? She's going through hard times. Oh well. If that lady asks you about chickens, you should listen to her. Moo. Oh, that's right. I recall now. Is there anything up here? Oh shit, what a waste. I mean, we're not exactly hurting for rupees, so it doesn't suck that we're picking them up. Um, but I remembered why we need to climb up here. I can't remember how. There we go. So we can jump up here. And here. Wait. Hmm. Maybe not. Oh, we need to come up here with a chicken. Oh, fuck. Son of a bitch. Yeah, so we need to come up here with a cuckoo and jump that gap onto here. Onto this awning. And there's a hole in the wall that lets us get to that heart piece. This is going to be a pain in the ass. God damn it. Uh, come back here! You asshole bird! <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Okay. MLG. Yeah. Ooh, actually, while I have y'all's attention and we're doing silly stuff like this, um, I'm currently looking at getting more emotes for the channel. And I, I, I have some ideas. Uh, I brought this up on Discord, but I'm curious what sort of emotes you would like. Because obviously the emotes, I mean, I get access to them, so they're kind of for me, but they're really, they're really for you. Hi, boy. Is this the first time you've visited this village? A great woman, Impa, opened up this village to us poor folk. Well, make yourself at home. The food isn't ready yet, though. Uh, thanks, lady. Just let me, just let me come into your home and hang out. How very nice. You just need to get good. Okay. <laughs> Granny's Potion Shop. Closed. Gone for Field City. Please come again. Down the hole, Link.
That's gonna be money. Ooh, wait, but we can... Hold on. Nope. Yeah! Got a fish! It looks so fresh and delicious. Cool. I don't know if we need that right now, but we have it. Who's there? What a bad kid trying to enter from the rear door. Such a bad kid. I have to tell you some juicy gossip. The boss carpenter has a son. He's the guy who sits under the tree every night. Don't tell the boss I told you that. Hmm. Very interesting. door back here? No. Question mark. Go around, go around, and around, and around. What fun! I'm so happy. I'm a music man who loves to go around and around, go around and around. I'm trying to come up with a musical theme inspired by this windmill, going around and around and around. Hey look, it's Koji Kong. <laughs> okay. We can, we can do the actual quest now. Oh no. Just let me roll. Just let me go. Oh, what's in these houses? A job where you can make a lot of money without much effort. The only thing I can think of is thievery. Is that a bad idea? <laughs> Song of Storms is one of your favorites, so good. It is. My little boy isn't here right now. I think he went to play in the graveyard. Oh, that's right, that guy. Hello. The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Eh? Oh, I see, you're just a kid. And you can't read yet. Ha ha ha! Uh, well, joke's on you, motherfucker. Oh, this is... This is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm. Okay. This is an RSS. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. What? <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, alright, you can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> uh. We'll see who gets the last laugh, bucko. By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you. And they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Now I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Have you been to the Hasky Happy Mask Shop? The Hasky Map Shop? That just opened in the Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everyone is talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So, could you go and get the mask for me next time you're in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but, well, I have no choice. This is my job. <sighs> Poor 
Or dude. Let's throw a rock. <laughs> Let the small child up the terrifyingly dangerous mountain. Named Death Mountain. Yeah. Um, we don't need to go buy a Hylian shield, because if I remember correctly, there's one in a chest in the dungeon that we're going to. So. We just gotta not get absolutely wrecked on the way there. Hello. They're tektites, right? Red tektite. Lock onto it as it jumps. No, I'm good. Oh, that motherfucker used to always get me. Oh, what's this guy say? Hello. I am one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance to the Dodongo's Cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. If you want to hear more Goron gossip, Head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. Nope. Catch you later, spider. They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see her? Kind of, but I think that'll have to wait. Look at the moon! Look how non-threatening it is. For now. Hello! Don't hit me, thank you. God, I wish I had a rumble pack for this game. I have not heard a good adaptation of this song, honestly. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We're in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter or quarry the Dodongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks, and the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in Dodongo's Cavern. That seems like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else! <sighs> I want to eat the top sirloin rocks from Dodongo's Cavern. <laughs> we're starving to death, but it's mostly because we're picky. Well, that's not what I intended to do, but sure, why not? What do you have to say for yourself, buddy? Big Brother has shut himself up in his room, saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. Well. Got a couple options here. Let's, uh... Oh, let's check. You're standing on a sort of carpet for guests. It feels so plush under your feet. What, Nabby? What would Saria say if we told her we're going to save Hyrule? I don't know, but I miss her. Hello! I'm a messenger! This item doesn't look like it works here. Cool! Um, but you know what does? Yeah. Yeah! Hello. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived, but you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be traded like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face. 
now. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested the Dodongo's cavern. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. 